Hi again, this is Kyle. Um, I wanted to do another tutorial showing you a different browser wallet. Let's say um, you've given MetaMask a try and it just doesn't sort of meet your needs or it doesn't have your favorite user experience. Well, the good news is that as a Ledger user, you can actually be a little, little bit more adventurous than the average crypto user um, because you know that your secure secrets are staying safe inside of your Ledger device. What that allows you to do is it allows you to sort of try different browser extensions, try different tools, and always be confident that your secret recovery phrase, your seed phrase is going to stay safely inside of your Ledger because Ledger sort of gives you that interface. Um, so let's let's venture out there and let's, let's try something other than MetaMask. Um, there's a browser extension that I have found um, that sort of came out of nowhere in the last year that I've, I, I found to be really good. Um, it's called Rabi. Rabi.io is their website. And let's go ahead and get that set up. Um, maybe, you know, maybe it's a better experience for you. Get, definitely worth a, worth a try. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Rabi.io, follow links to their Chrome extension, and let's go ahead and add that extension. Um, and in the meantime, let me get my Ledger Nano set up. Um, so for all of the, for MetaMask and Rabi, and maybe some other wallets I'll show you in the future, um, you'll just have your um, your Ledger open on the Ethereum app. The Ethereum app is just handles all of it. Okay, so I've installed Rabi. Uh, it, like most Chrome extensions, it'll actually disappear into this puzzle piece. I like to pin it because it just looks nicer when it's out. Um, and there you go, Rabi is installed. Now let's get it set up. Um, okay, so it says, Rabi, let's get started. And I'll set an unlock password. This is just for like a last layer of security. Um, maybe if I get the password right. There we go. Um, okay, it's gonna have you enable chains. This is a, an interesting introduction to the world of, of alternate blockchains. Um, maybe you're only familiar with the Ethereum blockchain, but there are other ones out there. A lot of them have a lot cheaper gas fees and, and you maybe hear people talking about it and you're not totally sure how to do it. The cool thing is Rabi comes out of the box with a lot of blockchains configured. So I just leave, there's no reason not to just leave them all on. Okay, and here's where you actually do the setup part. Uh, we're gonna pick Ledger, clearly. Um, and there's two options for connection method. There is connect through Ledger Live app, and then there's connect hardware wallet directly. There's a note here that the Ledger Blue, which is actually a device I've never seen before. It's a very old, like the rectangle square ledger. Um, I doubt any of you watching this have a ledger blue or have even seen one. So you'll be fine selecting this option. This is the direct option anyway. Just pick connect hardware wallet directly. And then what it'll do is Chrome will, oh yeah. So yeah, you'll, you'll pick your HD path. Um, that is a acronym meaning hierarchical deterministic path. Don't have to care what that means. Ledger Live is the correct option, but if for some reason, like you have a weirdly set up account structure from a, an old app, you may pick a better one. Like let's say, I don't know, I don't even want to go into it. Ledger Live is the correct choice. And there are very, very limited reasons to pick any other options. Okay, so at this point, what it just did is it asked my ledger that's connected down here, which accounts are on you. And you know, my ledger responded back with the public wallet addresses of those accounts. Not sharing any secrets with, with Rabi, it's just sharing my account information. Um, so I know I wanna add this first account, 3153. Um, if you need more accounts, you can add them here, but I'm just gonna stick with that one. Click next, and we're set up. Um, there's actually a little bit of money in that account. Click okay, and we are, we are done. Um, now Rabi is set up with this one account uh, present. The question is now, what do we do? Um, let's go ahead and try OpenSea, which has been our um, our go-to for testing things out and no need to stop now. Okay, OpenSea.io, and let's go ahead and sign in. And I, I like OpenSea for this because it actually has one of the challenges you may face with Rabi, which is a lot of websites are unaware of this, this Chrome extension. Most websites are, they're aware of MetaMask because that's like the OG original <laughs> Um, browser extension. And the good news is Rabi extends, the, it, it follows the same interface as MetaMask. So if your website is unaware of Rabi, you can just pick MetaMask and, you, and watch, it It will work. So I'll click MetaMask, Rabi's like, oh, I got that, I can handle it. And um, website wants to connect to OpenSea. And here's a cool thing is that it's like, all these different blockchains are supported out of the box. Let's go ahead and connect. And this should prove to us that we are in fact, 
connected. There you go. Um, it's connected to this wallet. And as before, here's a good test. We'll go to the OpenC settings menu. The settings menu, uh, if you try to go into the settings, OpenC will challenge you. They say like, prove that you're own the owner of this account by signing this message for me. And it's a long message here. Um, another cool thing Rabi does that I'm not, I haven't actually looked into too much is that it offers a security check to say like, I'm gonna check whatever you're about to sign and, and check it against a known scam list. I don't know how much faith to put into this, but I, I do appreciate there's one more level of checking that you're about to do. Um, so let's go ahead and click sign. As before, as with MetaMask, this will send a message to my ledger, which you see woke up and it says sign message. Let's go through uh, as a message hash. I, I can't read hex. I don't know if you can either, but that was like, this is a blind sign again. Um, Special note as before, blind signing is a way for bad things to happen, but I trust the OpenSea login flow and, and I'm going to choose to sign this message anyway. I'm really just doing this to prove that the uh, the wallet, the Rabi wallet works. So there you go. Rabi just orchestrated that connection through uh, to my ledger device. I signed it cryptographically on the ledger in a secure way, and then it passed that information back to OpenSea. Um, and so let me show you one more thing, which is where Rabi shines. Um, let's say you wanted to venture out of the Ethereum blockchain and into a different one. Um, so I'm going to go to quickswap.exchange, which is the, um, it's the Polygon network equivalent of Uniswap. So it's the, the way to swap one coin for another, but it's using, using a different blockchain, not the Ethereum network. And here is where Ravi sort of comes into its own. If I say switch, you know, connect to wallet, It'll say website wants to connect quick swap exchange and it uses chain polygon it's not it's not ethereum this time i didn't have to do any custom configuration i didn't have to, didn't have to set up any networks ravi understood out of the box how to connect on the polygon network so if you see if as i use this application i'm actually already connected using my ledger wallet on the polygon network without any additional configuration um, so hopefully that was a, a good tutorial of how to get an alternate you know, browser wallet set up. If, uh, if for some reason you're just not feeling MetaMask, if it's not meeting you where you live, uh, give Rabi a try. Maybe it's a maybe it's one that sort of matches the way you think a little bit better. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Thanks.